you guys i'm scared why is this actually growling oh my god no i'm freaking out i'm cringing i'm cringing right now do you see the spinach i'm actually about to throw up hey guys welcome back to another vlog we are in new york city today yesterday was resurrection sunday and after church we came to visit our family to have dinner with them then we start we decided to stay here for a few days so we are in new york and we are actually about to grab some breakfast i wasn't really thinking about grabbing breakfast but it was my husband's idea so i was like okay take me out then so we're going out to get breakfast and we are actually going to this spot that i used to go to when i was pregnant with anais and now anais is a whole 17 month old so she's about to be up in there eating my food <laughs> so yeah let's go do that <laughs> it's okay. mommy yes baby mommy. yes baby whoa flower Walking. He said they're walking. Hi, how are you? Good morning. How are you? Thank you. This is so nostalgic. Like, literally, the last time we were here, I was pregnant with Hanai. I thought he gave us three minutes. I'm like, um, she's a bitch. Like, when I was pregnant with her, all I wanted was a diet breakfast. We spent so much money. <laughs> We spent a lot of money here. here. Um, actually, I'm the reason this one is still open. I don't want lunch. Are you getting lunch? Honestly, I didn't want to come out to eat with you because there's a place by our house that I really want Jamal to experience. I have one thing from there. I have like their version of a tuna melt and with fries, and it was so good. <laughs> Yes, and, um, water. I have orange juice. Thank you. Um, so please. Thank you. Yeah, I had a tuna milk in there with the fries. It was so good. And apparently everything on the menu is really good. So I was like, that's where I want to go this week. When we go back home, we can go there. But it's okay. We needed to, we needed to come find some good, some good breakfast. Yeah. Checking out the menu. Oh, what do you see? What did you just I got uh fries and almond and toast. Well, oh, I guess we got it. Oh wow, all three of us got it. No, he got a bagel. We don't know where it is right now. Many. I take pride in being a great customer and I like to pack up plates when we're done. So I did that. Hopefully I'm making the waiter's life a little bit easier. And now my husband's gonna pay. We're gonna pray. And we're gonna go. So come on. We're back home. We are back in Connecticut. And New York was very eventful. Almost almost too eventful. Um so we had a resurrection Sunday dinner at my parents house but like jamal's parents were there um his godmother was there my siblings were there 
Um, and then the next day, yeah, as you saw, we went out to eat. Uh, we went out to eat to the diner for breakfast. Then we got back home and I took a huge nap. Um, and then we ended up going out to dinner with Jamal's parents, my little birthday dinner or whatever. Um, and then the next day we went to, so Monday we spent with his parents. Then Tuesday we spent with my parents and we were at their house and then we went to BJ's together, got a ton of stuff. And then in the evening we went to rehearsal, um, Jamal has rehearsals on Tuesdays um, so we went to rehearsal and then we finally came back home and I just love my house there's nothing like your own house there's nothing like your own space like I could walk around half naked here you know what I'm saying you can't do that when you're at people's house you shouldn't do that when you're at people's house um, but I'm happy to be home I love my family I, I love our family I really do but sometimes I don't know I just need to like come back home is it just me is it just me because i know there's people who like be living with their in-laws and like seven other generations and i don't have that grace i don't have that grace but anyway we're back home and there's so many things that i need to do i need to unpack i have like six loads of laundry lined up for me um literally I'm not even exaggerating, like six different loads of laundry. Um, I need to clean up Anais's room because she did a sensory bit in there with oatmeal and there's just there's been just raw oatmeal on the floor for literally days. So I need to clean that up. Um, and y'all, okay, let me show you what I came back to. Let me show you what I came back to with these plants. Y'all not only first of all i'm like freaking out like the stuff is actually growing like what like what <laughs> this was just last week that i planted these things and now they're actually growing and honestly i'm like what did i get myself into because like what am i gonna do I went in my Facebook chat, my face, I went in the Facebook group that I'm in, like, you guys, what the heck, these things are actually growing, now what? <laughs> um, and so I remember the instructions on the kit said, when you see the plant start to grow, to take off the lid. So this morning when I woke up, I just went and took the lid off, and then now they're supposed to be in sunlight so i just put them over there i'm trying to figure out where's the sunniest area i do think that's the sunniest area because it's right in front of the big you know window um so apparently i'm just supposed to leave it i i hopefully hopefully i don't overwater these things i don't know i'm kind of i'm kind of like second guessing <laughs> like was i really prepared for this I don't know I don't know what's about to happen um, I'm excited but I'm also really nervous so we're gonna see what happens um, what else do I have going on today today is also Wednesday so we have Bible studies we have Terry night and we have midnight prayers all at church so I need to do everything that I plan to do including get getting this vlog up before 6 p.m. Um, so let me get started. So as you know, my goal is to be finished with my book, 
this month the month of april um right now i'm writing a book that god told me to write in 2020 2020 was a big year um 2020 was the year that the pandemic happened where the pandemic started um the global shutdown everything changed everywhere um and for me 2020 was the year that i quit my job the year that i got engaged the year that i got married um and i didn't going into 2020 i didn't know i didn't have any inclination of how just how crazy it was gonna be i didn't know what god was gonna do but i had faith for him to do some things and in the season of when god told me to write this book i remember i was driving like in my neighborhood um and i think i was leaving either the bank or the nail salon or something like that and something had i think i had just received good news and i'm talking to god and i'm like wow people are not going to believe this people are going to be wondering like how did this happen and then i'm like wait god am i going to write a book i heard it in my spirit and i said am i going to write a book called the title and i was like wow and that scenario that situation never left my mind um and honestly y'all i was putting off this book because i felt like my story wasn't finished yet um and i felt like my testimony wasn't complete so i was like how can i even write this book if there's still some things that i'm waiting on god to do and as i set in my heart to actually be intentional and write um after three years um god started working things out and the book started writing itself i'm not gonna lie like i said i was putting it off i even got approached by another company to write a book for them and they were paying me and i hopped on that and i wrote that book so fast and i got paid and right i got the final copy of the book and right before it was supposed to uh, get published and go into the stores go and be available on amazon right before i got to even tell you guys about it the company got downsized and i believe they got bought out so i did all that work for nothing <laughs> um so if god told you to do something prioritize what he told you to do because i i know how god works i know how god talks to me that was a lesson because he was like girl look at how you can go and write these people book but the book i told you to write the one that's going to take you from here to there you don't want to write so i said you know god <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice um so i have been writing and i told my husband i was like i just need holy spirit to just zap it into my brain zap, zap the words into my brain and let me just flow um and when i told him we were actually driving home from new york or driving to church from new york and he was like well i'm nice to sleep in so you can write right now and i was like and that's why you my baby eddie <laughs> um and i started writing and by god's grace i was able to flow and i got a significant amount of work done writing a book is not easy um but I'm learning that I, I, I'm not the one that's writing it. Holy Spirit is writing it. So as he speaks to me, I'll be able to speak to you guys. Um, and I'm so excited about this book. I don't know how anything's going to go. I don't know how the publishing is going to go, how the launching is going to go. I want to have a book signing. I think that would be lovely. I don't know how that's going to go. Um, I'm just doing my part. And just like with my blog that I also started in 2020, I said, God, you want me to do this? You're going to have to work everything else out. Um, so I'm just doing my part. I already took my photos for the book cover um, and for my bio and things like that. So I'm just going to keep going. Today is April 12th. Um, so we have a few more weeks. And I'm going to really try to maximize all the time in the day without like working out of alignment with holy spirit because you can have time but if the spirit is not moving or the grace is not there or god is not speaking then what is the time go do something else because 
it's not it's not the right time you know what i'm saying um i'm also learning that i need to set the atmosphere before i even go and write because i don't want this book to just be like a, t a talk or a blog post i want this book to be a blessing you know this book is a blessing this book came from god and it's gonna help so many people and touch so many lives so i can't write it in my own strength like it has to come from god um and i was just reminded of the ebook that god told me to write in 2020 i was doing like a little ebook i think it was even like a free course or like a 60 dollar course um with a influencer that teaches things like that um so i did an ebook course and as i'm going through the course god is like write a book about prayer um seven powerful prayers and so i wrote that ebook seven powerful prayers it had scriptures it had seven prayers for like people who are trying to grow in their prayer life or like babes in christ and need um need to know how to pray and like scriptures and things like that so i wrote the ebook and y'all that ebook i wrote it seven powerful prayers i think it was seven dollars i sold so many copies of that by the grace of god like digital copies by the grace of god um so this will be like my first physical book i've done a planner i've done my ebook i have my blog but this is my first book and it will be the first of many because if you know me i'm a writer i have so many book ideas even this morning i was sitting down listening to worship music and i got another book idea i should have wrote it down because i don't even remember it right now <laughs> but i'm sure it'll come back to me i have children's book ideas um so i'm just excited to see what god does my spiritual mother she's written a lot of books with her husband my pastor um and her spiritual mother has written a lot of books um so the grace is definitely there as a christian author to do great things um and so i'll not allow anyone to limit me or um anyone to make me feel like this is not something that god has called me to because whether you buy the book or you don't i'm still gonna be blessed <laughs> um and it's still gonna make as much money as god wants me to make because i'm doing it out of obedience and i'm really excited i'm excited for like my kids to read this book one day i'm sorry my children to read this book one day um and so while on is sleeping i should probably <laughs> i should probably go get to writing um i don't even remember all that was in this vlog uh but i do want to perhaps maybe upload a second vlog this week perhaps maybe today's a really nice day so hopefully we get to go and take eyes for a walk when she wakes up also i know we're supposed to be praying soon i have no idea what time it is but we pray at midday i have no idea what time it is it's probably midday though um so i should go pray um also need to wash my hair so yeah i have a ton of things <laughs> that i want to do today so i need to get started on that but thank you so much for the support on this channel i love it here and i'm excited to grow with you guys thank you for the birthday love this hair ends our weekly vlog <laughs> um but i'll see you next time maybe sooner than you think So, my daughter gave me some snack, Oops. and my wife taking a shower right now. I've been away from my computer for like 40 minutes, reading my word because I'm, I don't feel like working, but this kid just woke up. I'm about to go chop some stuff outside, so I'm going to be a good husband and chop. I have to work still. But I gotta chop, man. Outside is a little project, and if I just do it every day, or once a week, or until, you know, it gets hot, everything will be in order, it's gonna be fire. You got a good nap? Hmm? Can I have one? All right. You. So if I could just zoom in. So this 
So these right here is the culprits that I'm cutting down. Don't know what they're called. But man, those things are annoying. And they grew very tall. So you see, they stayed tall all year. They didn't die. I had to cut them. Let me have some over there. That's a whole nother. That's a mission. The backyard gets real pretty. <laughs> when everything starts blooming. Oh. Right. So, this will be exciting.